many of the things which complex cells use evolved early in history of life and can be found in bacteria. So even though bacteria do not divide in the complex mitotic cycle of eukaryotic cells, kinases, phosphatases, cyclin, caspases, and some apoptotic proteins are found in bacteria. Even though, man, human fetal development is so much more complicated, man, than anything a bacterium can do. Nevertheless, there are many proteins which are required for human fetal development, such as the zinc finger transcription factors, or the HGH transcription factors, or an incredible diversity of G protein coupled receptors required for the nervous system and for sensation, or other cell membrane proteins, such as the ABC cassette transporters. The great complexity, Mon, found in humans is achieved because humans use homologs of proteins which can be found in bacteria. So there are homologs of very important genes found in all life showing its connectedness, Mon. There are so many other examples of proteins which are used in very complex ways in humans and other complex organisms, which can also be found in bacteria, and so therefore are characteristics which are shared among living things. So, human muscle cells get energy from glucose using essentially the same pathways as found in bacteria. Bacteria possess homologs of the globin and carbonic anhydrase proteins required by human red blood cells. Bacterial homologs can be found of the proteins which determine the human Rh blood group, the crystallins which transmit light in the human lens, the serine protease enzymes which humans use for digestion and blood clotting the RecA protein, which creates genetic diversity when humans make gametes, the homologs of actin, which is required for cell structure, especially that of muscle cells, alcohol dehydrogenase for alcohol metabolism, and so many other homologs. Complex human genetic pathways often involve proteins which can be found in all groups of living things, including bacteria.